Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in, in uh, an iMac. This is a 2007 iMac, um, and they're all basically the same. So we have our memory. It's uh, from Newegg, Mushkin memory, 4 gigs, about uh, $40 shipped. So you need a screwdriver, and there's one screw hole right there. So what we're going to do is is gently unscrew that. Now I have upgraded the memory in the past to 2 gigs in this. In doing all these videos, I need something a little bit faster. So, well, it's almost loose. There we go. So this whole, oh, not done yet. And, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. And there's a lot of dust in there, so this is a little panel on the bottom. Simple screw, and since we're in here, let's see if we can get some of this dust out of here. Wow, there's a lot in there. So there's these little flaps. There's this little plastic piece right here. We're going to grab that and pull, and that will snap the memory module out of place. And there we have it. There's the old one. And we'll move that over. That's Hynix. We'll do the same here. And as you can see, here's instructions on how to remove that memory and how to change it. They make it very convenient in the IMAX. Usually, before it wasn't. This is the... That's Hynix memory. This is the add-on Corsair Mac module. I've actually got Mushkin memory. Now, one thing a lot of people don't realize is most of this memory has the same chip on it, just from, has a different label on the manufacturer. So you want to make sure you've got this right, you want to make sure you haven't zapped anything static-wise. And blow these out. There we are. So here's our memory module. It goes this way. It fits nicely, and we're going to push it into place. That's it. We take this flat put it back over the top, and that's one. We'll do that with the other. There. They're both in place snugly. You just push them into place. And uh, I don't know how strong these are, but I mean, they, ha they haven't uh, ever been a problem. So, there we go. That's it. Now we have our little plate here, and we can push that back into place. This is, it goes either way, uh, it doesn't, it's not directional or anything, it just fits on there. So, it goes here, we'll screw this back in place. This is not the best, you can hear that, this is not the best screwdriver for this. There we go. There we go. That's it. And then we'll boot it up and we should be ready to go. Real simple memory change. This is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.